All right, hello everyone. Um, thank you for playing that um, long trailers. No, um, I'm Jet Leiko and I'm a proud batch four um, student of APFI. That was way back 2010, I guess. And naging prof ko yan, sila Eman, sila Miss Mads, and sila Sir JD, no? And they really honed me into um, filmmaker that I am today, no? Sobrang laking tulong. Lila, there's a big help because they also um, play a big role in the industry already. You know? So, laking bagay nun, sila Sir Nap Hamir um, and everyone else. No? Um, and way back 2011, I, I think I asked John Rodriguez, who was the previous admin, na magkaroon sana to have a film appreciation or film theory class because we cannot just let the students technically magaling or who can produce films, but who doesn't like to watch a lot of movies because we need that. That's why we're in the film industry because we love watching films. And in watching films, we learn a lot, no? And that's my class all about. We're gonna read and dissect films, no? Through their form, their content, and even their context. We're gonna apply theories like formalism, Parato's theory, feminism, um, psychoanalysis. So we go, we're gonna dig deeper on each film, no? We're gonna study um, different cinematic elements. So we're equipped when we do our shot or where we block our actors or we do our sound or replace our cameras. So we're gonna um, appreciate film more, not just because of its acting or the story or the plot, but what's inside the film, what's the inner core, what's the intention, where, what does the filmmaker wants to say to us, you know, viewers and also film practitioners. Um, of course, palalim ng palalim ng mga film theories is not a very academically or universe, university approach, but more of a very informal way of, oh, why, why does he doesn't use a medium shot? Why, why there's no close up? Why there's no music in this film? Um, bakit ko siya why, why I can understand it? Um, so we're gonna thread to that course. No? We're gonna appreciate experimental and avant-garde films. We're gonna explore Asian cinemas. Um, we're gonna explore history and maybe the bakit may cinema. You know, why is there cinema and what's its, re what's its really purpose on us? No? Of course, there's a business side. It's an industry. But of course, it's also an art. It's also an expression. Um, it could be a form of advocacy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we also want to build our own language. You know, as a filmmaker, we're in, in the long run, or in the long years, we're going to produce our own voices. As a filmmaker, because there's a lot of content everywhere. There's a lot of platform, right? Diba? Netflix, Hulu, um, HBO, Baba, Viva Max. Um, so there's a lot of platform. And there's a lot of content and how could you stand up or stood up or parang, um, step up in the game of this filmmaking or cinema no? na nagta-thrive into a new parang era of post-pandemic, um, et cetera, et cetera. No? And yung short span ng tao, palit ng palit, because there's TikTok, there's this one-minute content, um, there's this vlog. No? So how would you create cinema na may impact? No, so that's one of the things that we want to discuss along the, the course. Um, and also, what is a good film? And what is a bad film? What, why is that a good film? Or, or what is the experience that I, that I had watching that movie? And we're going to um, have an open discussion about it. We're going to have discourse about it. Um, and, and really, gonna, we're going to look into why film is like parang generally gusto ng matao, no? Bakit siya gusto ng tao? Why is, why is this formula worked? And why is this alternative cinema, which I just watch, works for me, no? And there's this like transcendent moment or um, cathartic feeling no? after watching this movie. Why, why I felt that? And we're gonna dig into that kung bakit, no? And we're just gonna watch movies and we just appreciate everything. Short film, music videos, even music. Um, we're gonna go to um, some galleries. We're gonna see some art. You know, everything um, because film appreciation relates to anything culturally and maybe social politically. Um, but we want that. You no, know? everything is part of the filmmaking process. You no, know? and we wanna engage on 
your process too is going to help you understand the film better, not just the technical side, but also um, the subtext in it, the semiotics or the symbolism um, behind it. Uh, na why why did the character wear red? Um, why does they sing all of a sudden? Why did they dance in the middle of the film? Why there's a long block? Um, while watching the film, why, why is there a 10-minute block? What does that mean? Um, and at, at, at the end of the day, I think um, while exploring what is really cinema for us, um, I think we're going to learn what is life. <laughs> because you know, that's the important thing. You know? There's cinema, there's movie making, there's filmmaking, but how can you apply it in your own life, in your career also? You know? um, and it helps me a lot because I also do um, TVCs, music videos, documentaries for now. Um, and I teach also directing at a university. So all these um, movies that I saw, all this short content that I've seen, and even the new technology na paparating, no? again, we get the discussion din ng AI, no? na what is our take or our look on the present cinema, the, Fili the Philippine cinema itself and the world cinema itself, with these new technologies that coming in, diba? Um, yun lang. We're gonna really enjoy this class because we're gonna watch and watch and watch and talk about the movies. And at home, you're gonna dream about it and you realize that your dream is um, better than cinema sometimes, no? Um, just, just really talking about, um, about what, you, what can you say about um, its form, um, the aesthetics of the, the filmmaker or even the production or the studio. Um, we're going to ask a lot of questions. I think that's it. You know? When you do a film, you ask a lot of questions and that way it helps you hone your outlook or what you see you know, deep inside every shot or every miss and son or, or every scene in the movie. Or even a picture, no? You can dissect a picture, um, even a movement, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot to talk about in frame appreciation because it's, it's really wide. It's really like, we can talk it, you know, I think between pang and four hours, just a four hour class. But, you know, after the class, we can talk about it. Um, we, can, we can talk it with your film friends also. Um, and that's it. No, and I hope that um, you get apply this really into your filmmaking process or into your writing process. No, and para talaga equip kayo into doing your thesis or your projects activities along with these um, other subjects or courses. So thank you, everyone, and um, I hope to see you soon.